Your piece titled Dangerous Detail, How the Voice Will Select Its 24 Members, finally gives us some clarity about how people will be appointed or selected to sit on The Voice. Now, you found this in the final report to the Australian Government Indigenous Voice uh, co-design process. Ken, how are these people going to be appointed to The Voice? Well, it was an interesting process because I'd read and been told, you know, saw on TV, similar to everyone else, who has said, look, go and read the report and you'll understand what's going on. So I did just that. And I went and read it with a very open mind without any preconceived notions. And, and then I was quite surprised with what I read and as it unfolded in front of me. So to just give people some facts on what the report says the voice will be and how it will work in terms of particularly what was interesting is the selection process of the 24 people who will be on the national voice voice. Um, so how it works is that Australia is to be divided into 35 regions or districts. Now it then says that it doesn't know what those regions or districts will be. So there's going to be a division of Australia into 35 districts, but we don't know what those districts are or where they will be. They may be within state borders or may, may cross state borders in certain areas. So what you've got here is a promise to create these 35 districts, but we don't know what the districts will be and we don't know the process by which the districts will be created, who will be in those districts, or uh, who will make the decisions as to which district and where the borders of those districts are and who are in the districts. None of that is laid out. It sounds like a parallel that, Indigenous uh, regional area like we have for our elections, but a completely new one. Well, it, 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 it doesn't stipulate. So uh, as an overall thing, and I'll continue to explain the whole thing, but I think what people need to understand up front, that the proposal is not a proposal to do anything. The proposal is a, pro is a proposal to create a process, to create a process for the selection of the people who are uh, on The Voice. So we start with the 35 unknown uh, regions, then each of those regions are then to select leadership groups and so on and so forth. And how those are to be selected is unknown. Then uh, each district will then somehow or other select people who are to be on the national voice. It doesn't say how the people who will be selected, how those, how those people will be selected, who they will, so, so, sorry, who will be involved in the selection process or anything. It doesn't, it, it actually doesn't talk about that. It says, well, look, once we've got the voice, we'll work all of that out. So then you've got from those 35 districts, the 24 people who will be on the voice. And so here's the interesting thing. You've got 34 districts selecting 24 people. So it doesn't say how all of that matches and then the selection of the people from the 35 districts will be on a state-by-state -state basis. So they've got 24 people, and I'll just read out. So the New South Wales will have three reps, Victoria two reps, Queensland three, Torres Strait Islanders three, South Australia three, Western Australia three, Tasmania two, Northern Territory three, Australian Capital Territory two. So what's interesting here is in the Australian Capital Territory, there are 9,544 Indigenous people. They will be able to select two representatives. Uh, Western or New South Wales, which has 339,000 Indigenous people, will, all, will select three people. So what you've got here is a process where we don't know how the selection process will occur. There isn't a process, there is yet to be a process to work out what the selection process will be, if you get me. Then once the people have been selected, the um, national voice then can select another two. So there can be 26 people on the voice. So what happens here is effectively that 
if a wily character wants to control the voice, all they need to do is make sure that they do sufficient lobbying within the smaller states and territories. And effectively, 18% uh, of the Indigenous population will control 13 of the 24 voice members. So this is not a democratic process by any stretch of the imagination. There doesn't seem to be any process to assure that each ind Indigenous person, say over the age of 18, will be, have a vote. This is not, it doesn't look like it will be a one vote, one person situation. So the question you have to ask is, is this a democratic process? And it certainly appears that it won't be Although what we're being asked to look at is a process by which no one has yet decided how the selection process will occur, and we don't know who will be the people who will decide what that selection process will be.